everyone, it's me, Chantronic! Everyone should like and subscribe the video! Make sure to buy all my merchandise! I don't know why... <laughs> why do I sound like Mickey Mouse? Special thanks to everyone who clicked on this video. You made a mistake. I'm gonna do something uh, that I haven't done in a while, and that is watch a video that was suggested by you. So, this was suggested to me by a viewer, and uh, it appears to be something from the same time period from when, like, Barney was really popular. A lot of companies chased after the Barney trend, tried to make something similar to it on a low budget, and this seems to be something from that same kind of trend and time period. Make something that looks promising to slap on the cover of a videotape and uh, charge money for it. I don't know if the particular program we're about to watch is like meant to be educational at all. Maybe not, I know very little about it. All I know is it's meant to be something similar to Barney, but swap out Barney with like a giant pig or something. It sounds exciting, right? Yeah, let's watch. Okay, class, gather around. This morning, we're going to talk about nutrition. Okay, this seems to be educative with a focus on food. The strange looking set that is supposed to be a classroom, but has a floor and walls that's also meant to look like it's outside? I have trust issues with any kid who has this haircut. How about pizza? I like bubble gum. Well, how about ice cream? Could it be pickles? Pickles! Maybe I should give you a clue. <laughs> Wow, okay, so this is kind of, uh, interruptive. What a jump scare. OH MY GOD! LOOK AT THOSE! OH MY GOD! This makeshift set vehicles, like, falling apart as they wheel it in. Maybe you should give us a clue as to who you are. Oh, well, my manners. The name's Quigley. Inspector Quigley. Um, and this is my portly partner, Mr. Piggly Wiggly. Hello everyone, Future Chadtronic editing this video. I did not know while recording this video that there is a literal grocery store chain named Piggly Wiggly. I guess count me surprised. There is no Piggly Wigglies near me, and nor have I ever been to a Piggly Wiggly, nor did I even know there was a grocery store chain named Piggly Wiggly, but I guess that's what this character is based off of. So yeah, I just wanted to put a little disclaimer here at the beginning of the video. I know this now. I did not know this while recording the video, so I guess just enjoy my pure innocence to that fact. I thought I would just put this in before my comment section's probably just flooded with that alone. So, yeah, I guess you learn something every day. I can't believe there's a grocery store named Piggly Wiggly. That's insane to me, but now you know that I know, and you can enjoy the rest of the video. Well, so pleased to meet you, Inspector Quigley and uh, Mr. Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> There's some really creative writers for this. So what's the premise for this? A teacher in a classroom of kids is failing to teach them about healthy eating, but are saved by two characters, one that's dressed up as a private detective for some reason, who's accompanied by a giant pig character who's dressed like someone who works at a meat counter or something. I don't understand how any of these things theme together. Doesn't even feel like much thought was put into the characters' names. Mr. Quigley and Piggly Wiggly. Oh, okay. Private detective that's also half magician. I also like how according to this map in the background, the entire world is just the United States. <laughs> it's just the United States surrounded by an ocean. There's no one else. No one else matters or exists. I mean, for a show that's supposed to have an educational spin to it, you might want to have a more accurate map. It's popcorn and pizza. It's mustard and cheese. It's custard. It's cucumbers, pickles, and peas. What is this vehicle even supposed to be? I have no. Is this like. What is this? Some type of sleigh? <laughs> it looks like some kind of sleigh or something. Bigly Wiggly's uncontrollable and destructive sleigh of slaughtering. Oh my 
Oh, okay. I think it's meant to look like a grocery shopping cart. They really just did whatever with this, whether it made sense or not, didn't they? Why is this kid sitting on the outside of it? Is it because they just couldn't fit all the child actors on the inside of it? This is... Why is she... <laughs> Why is she sitting in this like this? <laughs> That's right. You are correct, ma'am. And not just a supermarket, a super duper supermarket. <laughs> now that is direct writing theft from Barney. If you make a kid's show and say super duper and it's not Barney, it should be put in jail. This idea of kids traveling in the sky to go somewhere magical and learn something is also something directly lifted from Barney. I know because I watched it growing up. Every aisle will make you smile. Sure, you, you can, can stay, stay and have a super duper supermarket super duper day. I can think of lots of things my mom buys at the supermarket. Me too. I always tell my dad to do grocery shopping. Oh, that's great! Why don't you guys give us some clues to what your moms and dads buy at the supermarket? My dad buys lots of alcohol! Oh, oh my god! They really need to add seatbelts to this magic shopping cart. Well, let's go everybody! Alright, here we go! Okay, you ready? Holy frick, give me some warning there. What the heck is happening? It looked like they just did some like speed running maneuver to clip into the level. I believe that I've just found a clue that may help you keep from going bananas. Oh, what is it, Inspector Quigley? Yeah, yeah. I would not shop at any supermarket that tampers with the food by putting pieces of paper inside of it. Definitely feels like a health code violation. That is why it is important to eat fruit each and every day. <laughs> but it is a little nutty right now here in the land of fruits. You see over there, a big basket of fruit it has turned over. Mr. Mango goes with almost anything, but he's also delicious alone. You see over there, a big basket of fruit it has turned over. A kid just bite into an apple that he picked up off the floor? Well, that's not a very healthy thing to teach kids. Oh, Emil, I didn't mean to upset your apple cart. No problem. Oh, an apple always makes me lick my lips. This is making me uncomfortable. God, what are we doing here? Some type of green screen segment. I don't know why there's all this like flashing activity in the background. I have a crush on every orange. I care for every pet dog. <laughs> Where the frick did this bird character come from? This came out of nowhere. No warning. Also inside the supermarket, we have free roaming wildlife. I think that's another health code violation. Kind of a wardrobe malfunction here at the end. This was either the best take they had, so they used it for that reason, or it was the only take they had, so they had to use it. Hey, Quigley, I think it's time for another clue. Oh, Piggly, I agree. Let me see here. Yeah, I've got my pockets full. Oh, oh, oh sorry, that's not it. Lettuce? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh so sorry. <laughs> How much of the runtime of this video is just filled with this 
I'm trying to look for something in my jacket nonsense. And that's Wiggly, but please call me Pig or uh, Piggly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can call me Artie, Mr. Pickle. Ah, uh, that's Piggly. <laughs> This kid is like stunned by what's happening in front of him. They come in every color, they come in every size. Some are spears, some have ears, there are even some with eyes. Some like living underground, some just love the sun. Some are great to <laughs> That also looked like that was unplanned. Poor girl just got about ran over by a giant tomato. Vegetable! Triumph steamed and triumph stew. Somebody want to explain to me why the pig from Famous Dave's is encouraging me and singing about eating fruits and vegetables? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh my God! Yum, yum, eat enough, eat enough. Yum, yum, you need them every day. Oh look, that's funny, they have milk mustaches. Here's where I would make a joke about narcotics, but I don't think I'm allowed to say something like that on YouTube. Howdy folks, R.D. Eaton here. Been waiting for you all day. Thought I was gonna have to wait till the cows come home. <laughs> Only in America can you find an educational kids program that looks like this. This is the awkward part of the video where everyone realizes that Piggly Wiggly is something they should be eating. There's ground beef and lean steak and pork chops. And pork chops. Seafood? Chicken is my favorite. I could eat it every day. And that would be okay. What? <laughs> what? Why are they putting emphasis that if you ate chicken every day, that would be okay? They're really putting their signature on that, aren't they? I, I don't think I don't think that's a good idea. If you can eat chicken every day, what's the point of all this other educational material? I mean just start and end the video right here. Chicken is my favorite. I could eat it every day. And that would be okay. If you are willing, the chill will be thrilling. Just say the word and we'll go. What word? Bird is the word, dude. Bird? That's right. Wow, who are you? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. This is pain. Where did you come from? And why are you blue? I'm I see Frost, a direct descendant of Jack. I come from down south of here. And let me tell you, you'd be blue too if you spent every day where I do. Where's that? Walk this way. <laughs> That's right, kids. Birds! Another part of the food group. At least if you want to start the next pandemic. But seriously, what is this part about? I don't get it. I've never been so cold. When I'm blue, there's something I do that warms my heart and makes me feel brand new. I do a dance, a little dance on the I, I, I. I love to dance, 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 cause it feels so nice. If you want to boogie now, listen up, I'll show you how to do the deep freeze. I said freeze, piggly, do the deep freeze. Oh, okay, frozen food. That's another food group. <sighs> Obvious. Last I checked, part of the food pyramid is not frozen food. What? 
Why does this segment exist? Did we just need to pad out the video an extra 10 minutes? So we just made up a reason to do an extra song. I'm so confused. Seriously, there is no educational component to this part of the video. This makes no sense. Remember me and my happy fruits. It's important to eat fruits each and every day. Adios. Bye. Bye. Catch you later. Shucks, I'm sure gonna miss you. In the meantime, don't you forget to eat your vegetables every day. Don't forget, I'm counting on you to have some bread or cereal every day. Bye, Mr. Fresh. In case I don't see you again, remember, have a healthy treat from the dairy case every day. Sorry y'all gotta hit the trail. Sure glad I got to meet you. Don't forget, keep it lean. So long, Marty. <laughs> it was like so cool to meet you and like, hey, don't forget the deep freeze. I was wondering what they were going to do for this last part because the last character and segment has nothing to do with the food pyramid. Remember kids, the deep freeze? Question mark? <laughs> Shouldn't there be a larger emphasis on eating food that's fresh? That's more healthy. Why are we putting such a weird emphasis on frozen food? I don't get it. We need to get back and thank your teacher for letting you be here. Every day can be a super duper supermarket super duper day! <laughs> the super duper supermarket's where we love to go. Where all the fruits and vegetables are in the bottom show. Every aisle has a big smile. Come again and stay and have a super duper supermarket super duper day. Day to day in the super duper supermarket day. Oh, and then it just ends. We don't get to see them arrive back at the classroom, have them review with the teacher what it is they learned. Did they even ever get back to the classroom? I guess we'll never know. What a cliffhanger. I like how the font also used in this video is the exact same font I use on all my videos. Don't forget the most important food group and always make sure to eat the birds kept frozen in your deep freeze. <laughs> what the frick? Yeah. <laughs>